he's run five or six deep here on this uh, this turn. It's you know the hoop lure does get him off the rail. Oh, it does. I mean, they're they're actually. I mean, they're chasing the lure, which is four off the fence, so they're covering more ground. I think maybe you put him on the the normal arm, and he's one or two off the fence, and you know, I think would run quicker. That is a hot run. Five oh nine, not blistering. He ran five oh four here on Sunday, eighteen sixty eight. But he is absolutely roared home. Uh, Twenty nine twelve. He'll be back next week for the Group 1, Harrison Dawson? Don't know. Um, he's only had, I think, 13, 12 or 13 starts. So I, I mean, to, to win those and compete in those sort of races, I mean, just being fast is just one ingredient. You, you've got to be hard and tough, and I just don't know whether um, he's ready for that yet. I mean, he's still a grade five here, so... He's yet to win a race here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think, to be honest, might be throwing him to the wolves a bit by doing that, and he's done so much so far, I, I, I think... Hopefully we've got a lot of racing ahead of him and just look after him. Yeah, well, he's, he's set the track alight and he's another 10,000 in the kick and at this stage he's heading towards that 15,000 first prize. Talk us about uh, Aston D being the last of the match races against Eminent Reality. Yeah, look, he's been up with Jason McKay and Dog come home in that obviously A1 condition and he may, look, he's never been on the hoop arm so it may, I think it's either going to help him or hinder him. We'll, I mean, we won't know until the lid's open but the dog's flying. Um, he's got him absolutely in perfect condition, and I'm just hoping if he can begin like he did in his races in Sydney, um, he could run some serious early time. Eminent reality so strong, he'll, he'll have to, you know, if he does lead, finish it off and be a good race. The Wildering is on top of the leaderboard. Good luck with Aston DB in match race four. Thank you. Jason Thompson there, and. Here are the official times, 29.119 for Bewildering, 29.119 with a first split of 5.09, so that's the fastest first split uh, on that occasion. And was it Bewildering or Princess Pout who actually led? It was Bewildering? It was Bewildering, All right, yes. it was Bewildering. 29.685 for Princess Pout. So we're going to give you a graphic as far as the... Actual numbers are concerned, 29.119 for Bewildering, 29.622 for Nature's Gent, 29.685 for Princess Pout, 